The Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the civil rights movement in general inspired me to go to law school and to be a lawyer. I remember the summer before beginning law school reading Simple Justice, a fantastic book about um, the landmark Supreme Court case Brown versus the Board of Education. And it was truly inspirational because it, it shows, and the Civil Rights Act also shows how um, law can be a true agent of social change. It touches all of our lives. It, it allows us to think about what type of society we want for the future and what type of society we can build together. As a result of the Civil Rights Act, um, I was granted a fellowship um, from the telephone company because they were interested in getting more minorities in certain technical fields. So in particular, uh, they allowed me to go to Florida State to study the field of statistics. Civil rights has uh, had a major impact on that for me. And one, I am a woman over 40. Two, I am a visually uh, impaired individual, so I have a disability. And three, um, many of the forms of modes of transportation that I actually take um, were facilitated by the mode of transportation, uh, Department of Transportation. And it allows me a lot of independence that I would not have normally. My parents are of Mexican descent. They were raised in Texas. They experienced discrimination as they were growing up, so much so that I did not learn Spanish as a child so that I could avoid having an accent. Because of what my parents went through and the Civil Rights Act and what it, what it provided to the country, I was successful in an Army career and I'm, I am successful in my transportation career. I'm making a difference in the way that my parents wanted to make a difference themselves. My um, grandfather worked for a airport um, or airline service rather in the 19. Uh, 50, early 1950s, and I remember him as a child telling me stories about um, the racism he uh, was confronted with as an employee there and, and how an altercation that he didn't even start uh, resulted in him being fired. Um, and I remember him saying that the world is better than that. I definitely benefited from the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Uh, I am a a son of two Vietnamese immigrants, uh, and we definitely took advantage of the education uh, opportunities here. I'm a product of public schools, and I went to a public university, and I got my education that way. And one of the ways that I translated that opportunity uh, that America had given us was uh, I went to law school and I earned a law degree, and now I work for the uh, an office that protects uh, consumers. When I think about the um, 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights um, Act, I think about the fact that I was born the day that Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on the bus. And when I was offered a job with the Department of Transportation, I thought that was a sign for me um, that I should go to work at the um, Department of Transportation. It really is through the Americans with Disabilities Act that my husband is today able to enjoy the freedom of being able to work, uh, be active, and move around as much as he needs to. And in fact, next week, he's going to test with the Department of Motor Vehicles. Uh, he's recently had a left accelerator pedal put on our car. And again, it's with things like the ADA and the Civil Rights Act that give people the opportunities to regain the ability to drive and be mobile in our society. When I was uh, just a little younger than I am now, I watched videos of how the marches for civil rights back in the 60s were so prevalent and how people were separated because of their race from participating in education and, and eating in certain restaurants. I never understood quite why that was, but as I got a little older and I saw that there was a need for individuals to have a voice and to speak out against things that were wrong and unjust, when an opportunity in the civil rights field presented itself, I said, I'll take it. Although the, the Civil Rights Act did not specifically include me, in time, it has, um, it has 
caused EEO to change, which made it made it made for a safe work environment for me, so that I wouldn't be I wouldn't be fired for being transgender, that I wouldn't that I would be assessed um, at my job for my ability to do my job and actually performing it instead of on some other issue that's not really much related to my abilities. The strength of the United States is its diversity. It provides the opportunity to have innovative ideas, new ideas, different perspectives, and I personally have benefited from that. I was actually not born when most of those events took place, but growing up as a child, I do remember looking at video footage of Martin Luther King, of the Freedom Riders, of Rosa Parks, and a number of other civil rights leaders who helped to pave the way for me.